pace and go! Bug. <laughs> My application is bug. Fish. <laughs> I want to be a fish. <laughs> Mario and Luigi were Oh my god. Players order and decided based on how funny an off-brand version of these two heroes called Hans and Rudolph would be, who aside from saving a kingdom are also bugs or fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one's funnier. <laughs> They're both fucking stupid. Bugs! Yes! Bug <laughs> Sorry. It's time for lunch and Jet is gross! Sorry. Sure. Pajab! So Pajab, who are you gonna hang out with? Ooh. Oh, snap! Who's that girl? I don't know what I'm about to find out. Yeah. You find arrive at your table to find the coven. Oh, she must be a bitch. Ooh! And Polly and Miranda are screaming. You do her. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're under attack! Alarm! Alarm! Summon the guards! They're using their bizarro mind powers on me. The cute tall one is my less attractive evil twin. What? She uses shades just like me, clearly because of the evil twin thing. What? We're not attacking anyone! We're eating! What do you mean, less attractive? Uh, Lies! Subterfuge! Uh... I can feel them in my brain, making me less cool and sexy! Uh. Always the same with you. Oh, damn. Every single lunch hour. You can't allow your friends to be attacked. Quick, save them from this fiendish mess. Uh. <laughs> Drug their food or jealous them in Miranda's honor. <laughs> Drug their food! You reach into your pouch of drugs and pull out a I just have a pouch of drugs. Yeah. Pull out a handful of miscellaneous pills which you sprinkle on the coven's mashed potatoes. What are you doing? Are you trying to drug us, idiot? Winners don't do drugs. We're That's right! You know what? How about we just move to another table? What if I wanted to hit on the witches? No. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Suckers! They left their druggy potatoes! Look like everything's turning up Polly. Polly eats all the drugs out of the mashed potatoes and then decides she's a canoe. What? A canoe that thinks you're kinda cute. Let's do this! Alright, who do I want to hang out with? It's not. Yeah, let's, let's hit with that. Tony the Tiger. <gasps> Actually, we haven't seen him. Let's talk to Tony the Tiger. You're desperately trying to enjoy a meal in peace, but Coach insists on striking up a conversation. Hey there, bud! What you drinking? Liquid. What? Milk! That's it? That's hardly a drink at all! <laughs> Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a bout's lunch! And what would we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out! Oh my god. <laughs> but enough about me. Let's get you juiced! You can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? <laughs> Both or whiskey? Um, I think he'll yell at me if I say whiskey. WHISKEY! <laughs> I don't remember offering you any whiskey. But you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Oh well. <laughs> Guess I've just gotta go out and buy your case of whiskey! <laughs> yes! Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. When all your classmates realize that you can get Coach to buy them booze, just by asking, you become the coolest kid in school. You get four fun. Woo! I'm cool! Jesus. Uh, Choose something cool. cool. Something cool. Um, a really good book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going- I'm gonna start basing my answers off of lines. Um. Trying to make it. Gum. Gum's cool. You eat it. Not really. You're not supposed to eat it. Later order is decided based on how awesome it would be if Japan fit a building which <laughs> Books or gum, which is a vending machine of both things, actually. <laughs> a vending machine for books? Probably a cookie. Yours already exists. I know. <laughs> Yours exists in America. 
<laughs> and oh. I won because your was dumb. Oh. <laughs> so, evening. Um, Pajab! Where should we go, Pajab? Um, I don't Pajab. Think... Pajab. Pajab. Where should we go, Pajab? Pajab. Well, don't go outdoors or else you're gonna run into Cat Lady. Mm. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Oh, you're fixing your jacket. I respect no authority. Fuck all of you. I hang out in the bathroom. I give zero shits! Yeah. And I, and I sold my clothes. Damn it. <sighs> loves me! He loves me. Don't you ever want No matter what I'm doing. Fuck, I'm so angry! I'm sorry, why? I'm sorry, I want to pull out my own skull and eat it! Don't do that. Why? Your skull is beautiful. I'm so angry, I want to set the skull on fire and then punch the fire in its fucking face! Can I help? <laughs> no. Uh, I'm so angry, I want to spend years accumulating political capital so I can become president and then use my nuclear codes to blow up the sun! And you! You're standing in my way! Move before I punch you so hard you'll remember with the melancholy of the, melancholy of the times when you could move without all your bones hurting! Oh no! Violence incoming! Think fast! Uh. Sorry, Oh no. Why was that not the answer? I felt like if I used too many words, you'd I be think confused. you don't have enough. That's dumb. You have, you have no, no idea what to do, so you just start doing a silly dance. What's this? A fucking dance off? Yes! I'll show you a fucking dance off, Noob! I'm a fucking deadly ninja on the dance floor! Oh god. God damn it! Make the Overland House proud! What? <laughs> Unexpectedly, Damon starts bouging, boging fiercely, and he has quite the moves. All your classmates start chanting, Dance off, dance off. Damien's voguing is so intense it crushes you to the point that it's even worse than getting beaten by him. Well, it seems that in the end you actually didn't know how to move. Paris is burning, motherfucker! Damien out! Damien leaves you a sad, boneless pulp on the floor. You lose two boldness in one point. I was just trying to hang out in the bathroom. What the fuck? He keeps finding me, but he keeps hurting me. Um. Where do you want to go? I guess I should go to class for once. No! Class is dumb. No. <laughs> look, I look so bored. And day you are astonished by the new stuff you learn in class. You thought high school was all about doing stupid shit with your friends and trying to find true love. Oh! Who would have thought that class would actually be useful? What a nice surprise. You gave one valuable lesson. Good luck trying to use that in this game. Hmm. And two smarts. It's almost time for football practice, but you see Scott without his uniform oh, on, no. looking sadder than you've ever seen him. I just can't believe it, bro! Coach kicked me <gasps> off the team! Why? But it's not fair! How am I supposed to know that new cocaine powder drink contained cocaine? The rules are rules! Apparently doing a bunch of cocaine is against those rules. What am I gonna do, bro? Sports is my life! A life without sports is like a life without life. Please, bro, help me figure out a way to get back on the team. I'd love to help. The only question is how. Spike the punch with coke on prom night. The whole team's on uh, coke. Oh God. Uh, Here's my biggest concern. Why is there so much fucking like drugs in this game, and not like just like. Weed, but like cocaine. Yeah, that's like, some intense shit. Uh, um, choose. I don't think it should be the first one. Mm. But then again, I also don't think it should be the second one. Either way. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need fucking drugs. Either way, you're not gonna like it, so just pick one. I guess just pick the bottom one. It's, it's better than. Oh! Charming! Hey, yeah! Coach can't possibly be against cocaine once he knows how great it is! 
I mean, how can something that makes me feel like such a good boy be bad? I feel like I could catch every ball and every frisbee. I felt like I could chase any car. I licked my own balls for hours. Oh, God. <laughs> how could any of that be wrong? I know. But if you really want to show him, you're going to have to get more cocaine. Do you know how to do that? You're sure that won't be a problem? In fact, you remember seeing someone selling it somewhere. Yeah. You gain two creativity and I'm gonna have to time. go buy cocaine. Yep. Do I have money to buy that shit? No. Yay, Pajab! Oh, something's happening to you. What's going on, it's bro? It's not Damien. Um, sure. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be... On Saturday night, you're at a cool pizza place that cooks pizza in a real pizza oven. Ooh. Little did you expect that the chef opened the door to get Damien appears from the place. Damn it. How what? does that work? Can he teleport through fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make a kick-ass entrance? Ah, the mystery. My you dude! loves me! My but dude! I hate needing people's help, but I might need yours. Okay. Don't let it get to your head or I'll stab you, so I don't have to owe you anything. Enough you're, threats! You're taking my lines. Oh, sorry. I forgot. I know. Fucking rude. Fucking rude. Enough threats! Here's the deal, fuckhead! I might or might not feel attracted to your buddy Lisa. What? No! Wait, I haven't even fucking talked to you! Is it because I'm on fire? You know, the one always making absurd choices being equal parts is stupidly sexy, stupidly, sexually stupid. And with the nice booty. I'm angry now. I won't get my feelings hurt by rushing into love without proper judgment. My dad's always say, if you love someone, shoot them and see what happens. Hey, excuse me? I'm hurt, Damien. Grandfather really advice, right? No. Oh, Thing is, Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seem to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not very legal. They have strongly recommended that I do all of that on what they call theoretical level, like imagining the whole thing. Imagining is for losers. And since you both know Lisa and are a loser yourself, I thought you could tell me, what would Lisa do if I were to shoot her? Uh, fucking call the cops! Cause, damn. Ugh. Uh, I didn't want him anyway. I'm not in the shots. <laughs> so, she's just another vanilla dick one who thinks getting shot is not cool. Are we talking here, about drinks or being actually shot? He said shot. Yeah, but they were talking about a bunch of I don't know. I don't know. What is she thinking? What if we rob a bank together? The police will, I don't know, give us free cuddly hugs? Yes. Damn, I don't even need the money. I'm a fucking prince of hell. Are you? I just rob banks for the thrill and because I get Obviously shot for free. Is. I didn't know. This is outrageous. I'm out. Goodbye. This time he doesn't go back to the pizza. He takes oven, an he Uber. He just takes an Uber. How does demon transportation work exactly? Anyway, you messed up Lisa's chances with Damien, but at least you saved her from getting shot. Who cares? Your pizza is ready and you gained one charm. Cool. I, I didn't want Damien anyway. I never spoke to Everyone him. Everyone choose a movie. Ooh, choose a movie. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Take your fucking movie. Uh, fuck you! Coco. No, it's really cute. What? Coco's really cute. No. Player order is decided based on how idiotic it would be to do a 10 hour remake of the selected movie. What? I don't know. But Coco is great. I'd hang out with skeletons. Yeah, but why would you remake it when it's already perfect? I don't fucking know. So this question's stupid. I don't like your question. There's one. Which means you're just dumb. Let's do this! <laughs> Where the fuck am I going?
Oh, I need the cocaine, so I guess I'll for you. Yo, bitch. Okay, I don't care. Can I buy cocaine? I'm too, poor, too poor for cocaine. Okay. You need three more dollars. Bitch, give it to me anyway. Bitch! Damn it. So I guess exit. Because I can't fucking buy it. Um, sure. I'ma go to... What? That day you spent some time on the library's PC mining some bitcoins. This is supposed to have something to do with solving algorithms and the rise of cryptocurrency. But you guess that nobody actually has a fucking idea how it really works? Anyway, you gained two bitcoins which is equal to two million dollars. Which unfortunately is equal to two monster dollars, so two money. I have eleven money. I guess I should go to the library. The library to get, get money. money. You're distracted from your work, but some very creative swearing from across the room. It sounds like Damien. Yep. My heart. <laughs> no one else can curse quite so fluently. Yeah. What? I have to yell this. Okay. You crazy man of possum tits! <laughs> Why don't you eat your keyboard and shit out of life, loser? You can't help going over to investigate. Seems like he's playing the popular and extremely competitive online game Federation of Fables. Game. God damn it. What? I don't know. I... This just sounds dumb. <laughs> Judging by his swearing, he's not doing very well, and judging by the laughter coming over the voice chat, it doesn't look like he's, his swearing is working either. He looks like he's about to put his fist through the monitor, you gotta help him out. Oh, excuse me. Um... Uh... I don't know what the best answer would be. I don't know. Well, it depends on you. play this game all the time, but that doesn't mean you're good at it. You don't even know what buttons do what. You just drag your knuckles across the keyboard and hope for the best. The other team's flesh reaper skins Damien's avatar and uses the pelt to make a limited edition pad, which he sells on eBay for $400. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh. Oh, great. Now my character won't have skin again until I buy back that hat. Unless I take your skin in real life! Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, it won't solve the problem, but at least I'll have your skin. You can have it. That's your cue to leave. Maybe you should practice more next time. You lose two bonus. Okay. Player order decided based on who is most likely yeah. to be hiding corpses in their basement. You. <laughs> I feel tired. <laughs> but it is true. That's not the point. <laughs> and look, you even won. <laughs> I have nothing to say. I have no comment. Sure. Um, sure. Oh, that guy's here, but I don't know. Mm, who do you want to talk to? Yeah, fuck it now. You find Vera and Polly at their table deep in conversation. Alright. Business idea. People pay a monthly subscription to prevent me from drugging their food. Okay. Business idea. People pay me a monthly subscription to put drugs in their food. <laughs> Business idea. Price at the cafeteria's current food supplier by selling plastic food. <laughs> Business idea. <laughs> nipples! Just nipples? Yeah! Wait, wait, wait! Business idea! Use clever marketing and food science to create the new perfect diet craze and sell it for an insane profit. That's actually a really good idea? Better than nipples? <laughs> yes. We just need to figure out what a new diet product would be. Besides mm -hmm. for lunch? <laughs> 
yeah, you know, I was just complaining the other day that I made way more meth than I can ever do myself. I don't know why I made her sound like a store guy, but it works because she's into drugs. The profit margin will be incredible. The problem is the name. Meth has a really terrible reputation. You need to rebrand. You mean come up with a new name? Like Skinny Fun Powder or Probably Not Meth? Yes, except you get it worse. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. I've got the perfect name. Okay. Don't say. Nipples! <laughs> But it turns out Nipples is the perfect name for a drug you want to sell to high school students. Polly makes a killing and drug dealing turns to be a big romantic bonding experience for the two of you. Woo! Should we save this for next time? Yes. Okay. Okay, next time. Mm -hmm. Damien continues to be in love with me even though I'm not trying. I know. I love you, baby!